Actually, swine flu itself is very similar to the common seasonal flu that we get. We expect uh, high temperatures, 101 to 102 to even higher, body aches, cough, congestion, uh, runny nose. So in that regard, it's very similar to the common seasonal flu that we typically get from uh, November to early March. Uh, we're now at the end of that season, and, and we're fortunate that we had a relatively mild seasonal flu season, but now we have this uh, concern with traditional swine flu. How does it differ? Well, besides how it differs immunologically, from a symptomatic standpoint, the fevers are typically higher. We'll see often temperatures of 102 to 103 in a relatively progressive onset. So these people will develop symptoms over 24 to 48 hours uh, with rather rapid escalation. And this is different than oftentimes the traditional seasonal flu that we get that may linger. And it definitely is different than the common cold or the seasonal allergies that many of us have this time of year in Arkansas. Initially, you know, if you're having just a, a little cough or a little runny nose or what have you, you need to, you need to uh, stop and get some perspective. You know, is this seasonal allergies? We have lots of molds and pollens and, and seasonal viruses that are going around right now. Is this the common cold? Statistically, and more than not, for most people, that's all that it's going to be. And those are going to be treated symptomatically with Tylenol-based products or antihistamines or over-the-counter. And are not things that you need to go see your physician for unless you need the reassurance. If you're having more severe symptoms or escalation of symptoms, uh, then that's when you want to uh, get involved with the healthcare system that is here available to you. These are times when you visit with your family doctor or, or their nurse at their clinic. Uh, feel free to utilize them. Uh, try to become informed. Use uh, uh, our Mercy For Me website to get more information on uh, respiratory infections. But if you think that you're starting to get symptoms that are really concerning to you and or your family, that this may be influenza variant or even more concerning the swine flu, then this is definitely time to, to uh, get some help, and that's what we're here for. If you have risk factors, if you've been to Mexico or Mexico City uh, or um, uh, been in close contact with somebody has in the past week or two, and you're developing these s symptoms that we spoke about early uh, on with temperatures of 102 to 103, severe body aches, congestion, and definitely trouble breathing, then we're definitely available to you.